Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronix with it and after and this tutorial I'll show you guys how to easily whiten eyes in Photoshop. So unlike my usual tutorials where by I always whiten eyes in the camera filter or the camera plugin, this is basically going to be for Photoshop and after showing you guys how to whiten the eyes, I'm going to show you guys a way that you can record your eye whitening action in Photoshop so that you can just click and start painting over the eyes to give them that kind of white look or natural look so stick around and you learn all those things in this first tutorial so the very first thing you have to notice is we are going to be dealing with color in the white area of the eye so basically in order to eliminate color from the white area you are going to first of all come to the adjustments just down here and you are going to come to brightness and contrast the reason for doing this first is because we just want to brighten the eyes so that we can have those eyes that are popping and uh, the bright parts in the white area basically so just come and brighten it up just a little bit and now the next thing you're going to be doing you're going to uh, desaturate this very image so in order to desaturate you're just going to come to you can come to the adjustments then you come to hue and saturation and you're going to take the saturation all the way down just like that so don't mind so i'm just going to take it around negative 75 then we want to eliminate uh, the yellow color or those colors that look yellowish in the white area so if at all i first of all turn this off you can see that we have some yellow color in the white area of the eye so i'm just going to turn this back on then i'm going to simply come to the adjustments i'm going to come to the photo filter option so under photo filter when you click down here we have the cooling filter 82 i hope you can see this so when i click on that it's going to add that kind of bluish mode to the image so i think this is too much so you have to do this while you're looking at the white area of the eye just like this then come to the density and simply click and drag down the density as you're looking on the white area of the eye so just look and turn it down so i think this is okay but now this is affecting the overall image and we just want it to affect only the white area of the eye so you're going to select all these by holding down shift and simply clicking on the bottom most adjustment layer for the eye whitening and hitting ctrl or command g on the keyboard and you're going to name this eye whitening just like that so when you name this eye whitening remember the image is still looking weird so you're just going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard so alternate and click on this mask icon so when you hold it down it's going to invert everything hold down and i left click right here and it's going to hide everything we had applied to the image so in order to reveal back we're going to come and get the brush tool make sure it is a soft round brush opacity at 100 percent and the flow at 100 percent just like this so make sure that white is on top so in order to toggle and get white on top simply use x on the keyboard to get white on top so remember in photoshop white reveals and black hides that's why it hid the effect behind this black mask so we want to review that effect by using a black brush to paint over the white area of the eye so just zoom in to be precise and left click and start painting over the white area of the eye just like that i hope you can see that this is really nice and it looks natural and the eyes are not turning out to look uh, blue so this is how to naturally and professionally whiten eyes in photoshop if at all you don't have uh, the camera filter to help you use the adjustment brush tool to do the eye whitening so i think you can see how we are eliminating those a warm tones or the green color in the white area so just
paint over only what you feel should be white so this is never white so don't paint over that because the eyes are not going to be looking really natural and realistic so let's see the before and after this was the before and the after before after and if at all you feel like it is too much for your liking you can simply come and reduce on the opacity of your eye whitening so this is how you have to whiten eyes in photoshop if at all you don't have the camera filter so in order to record uh, this action for your eye whitening you basically have to first of all come to window then come to actions and it's going to open for you this action window or panel right here so in order to create a group for your eye whitening simply click on this folder icon and you can name that group or set to maybe eye eye whitening just like that and hit ok so this is where the eye whitening, eye, eye whitening action is going to be saved so what first of all record this action so in order to record the action come and simply hit on the plus icon so you can name this action maybe I'm just going to use lowercase so I I whitening so when you're done doing this you can even assign a function key so I'm not going to do that and you can even assign a color so I'm just going to put blue and simply hit record so when you hit record this is going to be recording everything you're going to be doing uh, to your image so we are going to first of all start by remember we first desaturated the image we first brightened up the whites rather so I'm just going to brighten up the image just like that then the next thing we did was coming to the hue and saturation and we desaturated the image just like that until the whites are looked a little bit whiter so I'm just going to go around a negative 76 then we added a cooling filter which is the photo filter so come down here and drop down and selected the cooling filter 82 and we simply turn down the density so we're just going to go with 5 and after doing that we selected all the layers we had done for the eye whitening and simply hit Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard put them in a group so you're going to name this eye whitening just like that and after we had done that we held, we held or pressed alternate and we clicked on this layer mask icon just like that to hide the effect then we came and selected the brush tool we made sure white is on the foreground opacity and the flow at 100 percent smoothing at zero and it is a soft round brush then we started painting over this so remember we don't want to apply any effect in the areas we just wanted to record this action so when you're done reaching this first step whereby you have inverted everything come back to the action panel and simply stop the action from playing so when you stop it just come and close this so we want to see if at all the action has been recorded so we are just going to delete this and simply come to the eye whitening right here and hit the play button and it has already done everything for us with just a click of a button so I'm just going to close this and come and get the brush tool opacity and the flow at 100 make sure white is on the foreground simply zoom in and start painting over on what you feel should be white in the white area of the eye so just do that I hope you can see what this is doing and the effect is applying to the uh, white area of the eye and you can simply come and start painting over this other side of the eye I hope you can see what are the effect or what effect is being applied to the white area of the eye so let's see the before and the after for the eye whitening and when you feel like it is too much for your liking you can simply come and drop down or reduce on the opacity for your overall eye whitening so basically this is how to whiten eyes and how to record your eye whitening action in photoshop to speed up the eye whitening and you can use the same process for the teeth whitening in photoshop 
and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching this video from this channel for the very first time Ronix and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this and don't forget to keep creating